Hey guys, my name is Jackie, and today I just wanted to share some tips on stretching your ears because I've done it a couple of times, a few at least. Um, first off, it's called stretching, not gauging. Gauging is a verb, but it's used for gauging distance, estimating at a distance. It's used for other things. It's not for stretching. There's already a verb for this action, stretch, right? Good, good, we got it. Also, the, the plugs like this big, put this in my ear, this is not called a gauge. This isn't, this isn't even anything, it's my tape measure. But it's definitely, if you put it in your ear, it's not called a gauge. It's called plug. Plug. Plug you put in the bathtub, plug you put in your ear hole. Plug. Okay. So, the next thing about stretching your ears is that, um, be gentle. Stretch anything, you have to be gentle. It might hurt a little, feel a little pressure, but if it's like sharp pain, stop. Don't do that because you're cutting your skin right here. Now, today I'm stretching from a zero to a double zero gauge. The gauge is the name of the size. And um, I'm using glass with a very nice taper. As you can see, it gets like really gradually bigger. And so I'm just pushing through. And as soon as I get a little leeway, I push the rubber band. And over the course of a day or two, I'm probably going to be up to my double zero size again, which will be awesome. Um, other things I've found over time are um, good materials for stretching are glass, and metal, high quality metal. Um, very bad, bad materials for stretching would be wood and silicone. Um, and in the middle is acrylic. Acrylic's just kind of lame to leave in your ears all the time anyway because your skin doesn't like it very much. They're not friends. Um, I recommend using glass or metal for, peers, for stretching rather as much as you can. Now silicone, some people will fold up the silicone plug and try to like let it expand in their ear. But the thing is like the silicone doesn't stretch evenly. It like catches. So it'll like start tearing one side of your ear and pull one side and then leave all that there and it, oh god. The, it, I think it'll create fissures and also it builds up a lot of gunk if you don't clean silicone all the time. And wood, I've had friends stretch with wood and they said they got horrible horrible splinters, so I've avoided that like the plague. <laughs> um, weights are pretty good. These earrings are pretty heavy, but you have to be careful with weights because they can cause your ear to stretch down instead of round, you know, and you can get slits in your ear instead of a larger hole. So be careful about that. Um, yes. And uh, don't, don't try to jump like 12 sizes in one week because your ears they, they won't be happy if they do get mad you can make a sea salt solution of a quarter teaspoon sea salt in uh, one cup of water and mix it up and dip your ear in it and hear funny sounds for a while uh, that's all the tips I have really but I wanted to share that with everyone and hope hopefully your stretching experience will be wonderful take care